Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video I've brought um, another quilt sewing bag and this is such a beautiful design and very easy to make. Uh, so first we're gonna start with the square shape and we've already sewed this and I'm gonna take a, a small pieces um, of a fabric it's about uh, three centimeters and the other ones around um, at centimeter so the square is at centimeter we're gonna start with the at centimeters and we've already done with the first one as you can see so whatever we're gonna do on the this side we're gonna do exactly with the opposite other side and if I've taken here the white side it's gonna be the white side again our white color the same thing goes here so basically it's like copy and paste I'm gonna go uh, with the details um, now and then later on I'm gonna be um, just showing you the process a little bit faster all right so this is our next step uh, for the first row of the left and right side I've taken another um, fabric color so to make it a little bit more contrast Okay, so next for the second row, I'm gonna use uh, two different pieces of fabrics. So I'm gonna stitch this together. And then we're gonna take it and put it upside down and we're gonna sew it. So for the other side, we're gonna see you it like this. And after that, we're gonna do like the same thing, but this one's a little bit bigger. So every time you go for the another row, it's uh, the fabric's gonna get longer. And we're gonna sew it like normally but the different colors so whatever it's on the right side the same color is gonna be on the left side and it's very easy to do it because if you follow the instructions um, it will get a lot more easier for you to do it Okay, so in this row we're gonna be using the three different pieces of the fabrics. Um, it's gonna be the same as the usual, but the only thing um, there's difference is the different colors. So don't mix, uh, don't mix it up. Don't mix the three colors, and um, see it just like the usual. That's it. So this is the only row that we're going to be using the three different fabric color um, and the other rows after that is going to be more easier. We'll get two uh, different colors and then we're going to go with the one and one and we're, we're going to be all done. Uh, 
and guys don't forget to cut the extra fabrics as we need it and that's it <laughs> Alright, so once you're done with the cuttings and all, then we're gonna see you one more time to the edges of our work for extra safety. Then we're gonna be done with the quilting thing. And for the next step, uh, we're gonna see you pocket itself. So we're gonna need two triangle pieces uh, of fabric and one long um, piece of a fabric. First, we're gonna connect it and then we're gonna see it. And don't forget the cutting guys because it's very necessary uh, so that we can see that how much we need the fabric and uh, and the same thing goes for the other side of the triangle we're gonna connect it first and then we're gonna see on it So once you're done with the cutting the fabrics of the pocket, uh, then we're gonna sew it one more time on the edges of our pocket. And for the other parts of our pockets, we're gonna put it upside down again um, so that we can see clearly. And for the next day, we're gonna use the newer fabric, um, the fabric of itself. We're gonna sew it.
Then for the next step, it's ironing. Then I forgot to film the bands guys, uh, but it's very easy, you're just gonna sew it. And then for the next step, uh, we're gonna connect the pocket sides and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So first you're gonna place it in the center of uh, our back side of a tote bag. Then we're gonna sew it. And one more stitch line to this side. And make sure to go twice on the band side. And for the front side, it's gonna be exactly like the same except for the pocket. Then we're gonna connect the both sides and we're gonna use the magnet um, for the same measurement, um, about one centimeter. And the next step I've already altered and cut it the extra fabrics and it's very clean, neat and tidy and I've also cut it the corners so that we don't struggle while flipping the other way around. And for the corners we're gonna use some sharp objects. And be very careful not to ruin your bag. And we still have one last step which is ironing. Uh, you're just gonna iron it uh, real quick and then you're good to go. Then you're finally done with your top bag. So it's very easy and very beautiful to make and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel and tell us what you think about this idea in the comments below.